It's a common practice when mixing to put a subtle final EQ and compressor on the whole stereo mix called a bus EQ and compressor to give your mix one final glue together. In this movie, we'll do this, as well as discuss some ways to self-master your mix. On the output track fader, let's insert a linear phase EQ in the audio effects insert. A linear phase EQ looks like a normal channel EQ, but it's a special type of EQ that can sound great for what's called program material, or the whole mix, instead of one instrument at a time. In the presets of this EQ, we have some mastering presets. Let's choose Final Mix Rock. As you can see, this EQ shape is pretty subtle, but it gives a little something to our sound for our final mix. Remember, because we're now doing processing on the whole output track, we're affecting all the tracks together with this EQ. Let's take a listen to it, and I'll bypass the plugin as we play by turning the power of the plugin on and off on the left here. So I'll start with it on. So it's pretty subtle, and it's definitely adding a little something interesting to the mix. The other trick of the trade is to do a similar type of very subtle compression processing on the output channel. For this, let's go into the dynamics section here, and we'll insert a multipressor compressor right after the linear EQ. This compressor is like a normal channel compressor, except that it splits the audio into four separate frequency bands, compressing each band separately. So the first band compresses all the bass material, two and three compress the mid material, and four compresses the high end material. It's a little more flexible than a traditional single band compressor. Let's choose the preset in here called Final Rock Compressor. And you can see it loads up each band with separate compression parameters. Now by default, this preset has the output down minus four dB. I'm gonna move this up to minus two. And let's hear the song with and without this compressor on. I'll, again, I'll bypass on the top left. Here's with it on. With it off. So again, it's pretty subtle, and you can hear this compressor is making it slightly louder, but it's also doing something else. Maybe I'd describe it as making the mix feel a little thicker. So those are some bus processing that you might want to do on your output fader of your mix. Now, you might notice your final mixes aren't always as loud or as huge sounding as commercially produced songs in your iTunes library. Part of that's due to mastering. Now, I'm not going to pretend we can approach some of the crucial sonic nuances that a professional mastering engineer can add, and I'd highly recommend taking your final mix to one if it's important to you. But we can do our own at least temporary mastering on the output fader here in Logic, just to match some of the loudness we might want to hear from our mixes. We can also protect against possible overloading. You can see I've actually overloaded the master output here by 0.7 dB since it's in red. For this, we'll use the adaptive limiter. So after the multipressor, I go in here to the dynamic section, and I'm gonna choose adaptive limiter. Here we'll choose the preset average limit. And we're gonna turn the output ceiling down to minus 0.1 dB. That'll protect us from clipping or overloading the output. Since the top of the scale is zero dB, if we go down just 0.1 dB, it'll put an output ceiling there so our sound can't get louder than that. Now I'm going to turn the gain down a little bit to about 4.5 dB. It's already a pretty loud mix. I don't need to increase it that much. So now let's play the song again, and you'll hear it'll be much louder. As we go, I'll turn on and off these three processing plugins we put on the output fader, and we can hear what our final output processing is doing for us. Here's with everything on. Even tomorrow. So now that we've added these three plugins on our output fader, not only are we protecting ourselves from overloading our output on our mix, they also help add a final sheen that takes our mix to the next level.